Welcome everybody to another episode of the Genesis Mindset. So today it's going to be a very quick episode, but before I dive into it, I wanted to just quickly say a huge thank you to all the people who've been watching the videos and leaving comments. I uh, really appreciate it, guys. Honestly, the commenting, the likes, not only does it motivate me because I'm seeing that people are actually resonating with the content, it actually really helps the channel grow and it helps the video spread. And at the end of the day, this is all about this is all about expanding the network of Pulse Chain. And my main thesis here is that with the Atropa ecosystem that is emerging, it's actually going to filter in and bring in people from other networks into the Pulse Chain ecosystem. That is the main thesis that I'm seeing unfold with this Atropa story. So I've done huge deep dives. I've spent like 30 to 40 hours doing all this research in the last few weeks. And I've condensed all of that into 30 minute videos and today I wanted to just basically show you my process for buying, because again, this is something where sometimes people have a bit of fear. So I wanted to, again, just reiterate how to do it and how simple it is. So I'm just going to get straight into it today and I'll show you my process and just show you that how I really like to do things very cleanly, because I think this is very, very important. Okay, so over time, I've been slowly refining my multi-charts with the Atropa ecosystem. So at the moment, because everything, I believe everything's tied to Pulse Chain, right? So every single pair that I'm looking at, I've I've got those pairs up according to Atropa and well, Pul Pulse Chain and Atropa. So obviously, when it comes to Atropa itself, that's what this particular sector of the ecosystem about is about. So we've got Atropa to Pulse Chain and then Atropa to Die. Then what I've done here is, oh, I'll just click out of there so we can see what's going on there. Okay, so in this one, we have my die and pulse chain. So what I've done is I've paired two, I've paired two, and then I've paired two. So this makes it really easy and clean for my mind to see. So for example, WPTC, pulse chain, wrap Bitcoin, Atropa, because the, the coordination of these two is what I'm interested in and obviously always interested in how it actually affects and impacts pulse chain. Then here I've got PRS, pulse reflections, and here I've also got pulse reflections. So next to each other, so I can get a quick overview. And again, TSFI, so T-Shares Finance, trade share, uh, sorry, yeah, T-Share Finance. And then the final one is TRS and WPLS and TRSI. <laughs> so yeah, this one was the... Uh, this one was just the one that I just that just emerged after my video with uh, the duck named Bill and Greg. So I really wanted to get into this and I've actually made the pool. So the hex TRSI and hex hex pool here. So I've actually created this liquidity pool as an experiment just to start learning. So, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through one particular buy. Oh, actually quickly while I'm here on the chart. So once I do do a buy, I like to put a nice little line there. So when you've got these multi charts, you can do, once you're actually going into a buy process, okay, you can expand the chart with that button here. So you press this button here and it will expand it if you want to get a closer look, get a get a get in a little bit closer. But what I'll do is I'll do that with the next one that I'm going to be purchasing because basically what I've done is now I've gone back to my plan, back to my original plan that's taken me three cycles to generate. This plan is also still continuously evolving. If you want to have a look at my video about my plan, I'm going to put that up here. And then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making a purchase on PRS PRS with wrapped pulse chain. So what I'm doing is I'm sending some fiat at the moment to buy some pulse chain. So now I'm actually going to be buying some PRS and WPLS because it's got a nice, nice good dip here. So that's what these charts are. So I can identify, okay, where are my dips? Because basically I like to buy on those dips. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this out and then I'm just going to press the A here so it fits it all in. And just so you guys can get a good sense, L for logarithm. And just in case my, my video here, you can actually, when you shift it, so if you press A, it'll lock it and you can't actually move it around. But if you actually adjust this, then you can start to move it around. So if you click this and adjust this up and down, just to see what the chart is doing. Now, also, it might default B like this. So you're not actually going to be able to see anything where you can actually draw on it. But if you press this little button here in the bottom left-hand corner, now you've got all the different draw icons. So here's what I like to do. My buy point. So I'll just draw a line in there and I'll zoom in, get in nice and close. So this is going to be my buy point at this red line. 
So what I like to do, if you want to lock it to that, you hold the control. So I hold left control and I move into where I want my buy. So this is going to be my buy. Now, this is where it gets a bit complicated. So always I leave it when I'm looking at the charts, I'm always leaving it. Oh, sorry. When I'm looking at the charts, I want to see the ratio. So PRS to WPLS. But when I do my buy, I change it to the USD value so I can actually get the price. So then I can enter it for my tax purposes. So I want to actually show you now. So what I'm going to do is before I do this, so I get everything ready. So now I zoom out of the chart. So I'm going to copy this contract. So I'm going to copy the PRS contract. So this little button here in the bottom left next to the expand button, copy PRS address. And now I'm going to go to shift this to the bottom. I'm going to go to my pulse chain. Uh, I've just sort of doxed myself here. This is no good. But anyway, um, and then if I want to now buy, so how do I do this? I'll copy and paste that address here. I'll import that. Now, I've already predetermined everything based on my plan. So my Ah, the price impact, so the slippage. So let's actually, okay, so this is a good example. So let's take a look at this and see what the liquidity is like on this particular pair. So I'm going to copy this pair address. So if you want to actually go more detailed, paste in the pair address, and this is where I'll open up a different window. So now I can start to see, okay, yeah, it's got some good liquidity, 45, 000, 45K liquidity, 1.2 million market cap. Some of them, this liquidity is going to be very thin, and I'm going to, I'll, I'll cover that in a different video when I start to talk about, um, actually, I, I might even just do it towards the end of this episode, just very quickly, just to highlight it. Okay, so I've got that, I've got that pair address in here and I've predetermined everything based on my plan. So I'm going to put 2 million, 2 million pulse in. And this is just one of my buyers. So the way that I like to do buyers is I never know where the top is. I never know where the bottom is. So I like to stagger things. I don't want to put it all in at once and then it keeps dropping lower and I've got no dry powder for it. So I always do in threes. I just do everything in threes. It keeps things simple. So what I've done in organizing this as well, I've done two thirds into, let's say the, the main Atropa tokens, which is Atropa itself, PDI and Teddy Bear. So those are my three quote unquote, a trope of blue chip. So I'm going to put two thirds into that. And then one third is my DGEN. So these things like PRS, TRSFI, uh, uh, TRSI, and wrapped Bitcoin. So I've predetermined all this. So 2 million. So, okay, fantastic. So I'm going to, I'm going to swap it anyway. Oh, hang on. So let's see here. So let's just get this correct price update. Was it a better price update? I, I uh, It seems to be going down because of this. Well, actually, no, it is a better price update. So swap anyway. And then as I, the swap has a price impact of at least 5%, please confirm. That's okay because I do want exposure. So confirm anyway. There's my gas fee as well. So keep in mind that 0 0.19 gas, confirm. And then you add the PRS to your MetaMask, add the token. And as this is happening, I'm going to go back to, this won't actually be open because I'm always generally just doing everything in the one. So what is it in, so I've got the price in USD. So 0 0.0, so it's, six zeros and then eight one three so this is for my tax this is something i cannot recommend this enough so i always need to convert everything to australian dollars so i'll put in eight one three three and what's that going to give me ah oh, yeah so it's point one two six so therefore when i enter that into my tax now i'll show you how i'm going to do this so i'm just going to show you quickly my tax chart. I'm not going to show you the whole thing because that'll fully dox myself, but I've got everything set up here. Again, I like to keep everything in a sequence in an order. So this sequence and order is the same sequence and order that I've got for my actual on my actual chart. So whatever things are ordered in there, I have the same order here. It's just these little things where you don't need to 
You don't need to overcomplicate anything in your mind. You just keep things very simple. Okay, so now my PRS. So we just bought some PRS. So today is the 15th, so 15th of the 9th. Now, this is something that one of my Hex homes, if you don't follow him on Twitter and Instagram, please follow him. He is an OG Hexagon day one Hexagon. He was the one that got me into Hex. Really smart guy, really in tune with the market. And I always, he's one of my best friends. So this is one of his charts. This is one of how he does his tax. So um, we both got screwed over by not really following it properly. He followed it a lot better than I did, but now I've basically gone along with him. So, okay. So now the price, here's my price. So the price is going to be 0, 0.0. And then it's going to be, it's going to be five sixes. And then I'm going to have to delete that. So copy and paste that. So then also with Excel, you can, it's not going to show it because it's not spread out enough, but that's okay. At least when I click in it, I'm going to know what that price is. What was my quantity? So I'm going to have to go back and just double check what my quantity was. So where is it? Let's go here, go to my Pulse X, and then I can close this. So what was my quantity? Eight. So then if I just make it easier, I can, if you, you can't do it on the sell for some reason, but when you swap it to the buy and then you just press the number and it will put the total amount in there. So I'm just going to copy in that. I always do the two decimal places. Now I'm going to go back to my, enter the quantity here. What was the cost? So the cost, I do the cost according to what the value was in pulse chain. So I've just been buying everything at the same time. So it'll just be the same, the same cost. And then my fee, I think it was 0.19. So actually I'll just round because it's I'm rounding it up to Australian dollars. And then here I'll, I've, I'm trading, I'm selling. This is my sell row. So pulse I'm selling into PRS on the 15th of the 9th. I'm selling 2 million pulse, one too many. So copy and paste that number into here. And then this is, this is how much, this is how much I actually bought it for. So whatever the airdrop was at that time, it was, so obviously the sacrifice rate was 0.000001 or however many zeros, but at the time it was $1.50 to the Australian dollar. So it's point zero one five for us so now uh maybe i've put too many zeros there okay so oh hang on let me do this again so copy and paste that there boom okay yep perfect so now this is a loss of a hundred dollars so that's great i'm selling at a loss because i'm i'm telling my tax that I'm actually selling my original pulse chain, but I've actually got fresh capital coming into it that I'm going to be buying new pulse chain with. So it's actually really sort of using the new pulse chain, but I'm actually selling the pulse chain that I bought at a sacrifice rate so I can claim that as a loss. So that's a nice little tax hack there. So that's why it's also good to keep track of these things so you can actually see what you're doing. So all right, I'm going to keep this one short and sweet. So that was just 15 minutes, how to buy, how to keep track of your tax. And because this is really, really important, guys, keeping things simple. You want to remove all the decision-making from your mind. And this is also why I emphasize having a plan because when things start going euphoric, if you don't have a plan for how you're going to sell, you're going to get swept away with your emotion in the same way that you get swept away with your emotions when things are dipping too much. So if you have a plan and you have conviction and you stick with it, then it's not something that you need to decide in your mind. Because if you're trying to decide in your mind and your emotions are also affecting your mind, then it's it's next to impossible to have any clear decision-making. But if you've predetermined those decisions, doesn't matter what your emotions are. You just observe those emotions. Okay, I'm not going to get sucked in it. I'm just going to stick with my plan and go with what I originally intended. And that's exactly how I like to do things. Whether I win, whether I lose, I don't know. But so far at the moment, all the decisions that I've been making based on the Pulse Chain ecosystem have been pretty much on point. Every time I've said, okay, this is a good time to sell, it's been a good time to sell. The problem that I had was I was a little bit afraid. I was too attached to my pulse chain. I was like, oh, I don't really want to lose it. I don't want to lose it. I was too scared to sell. So then I just started selling tiny bits and tiny bits, tiny bits, just to like ease my mind into it, to alleviate that fear. And that's exactly what I'm doing with the liquidity pool. So actually, yeah, that's one last thing that I wanted to just very quickly show. 
So just very quickly show. So I'm going to, I'll go back to the share screen. So this is the liquidity pool. This is the liquidity pool that I, oh, this is the liquidity pool that I set up just, just to experiment. So I'm going to copy this pair address because this, 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 this TriStar and Red Sector came a day after I created the video. And so I just set up this liquidity pool and I just want to see what happens, what it does. I don't fully understand it just yet, but I'm starting to see, ah, what are these? What So people are buying, it's either people buying and selling or the bots. I think it's the bots that are buying and selling within it that is altering the price. So now I've just started slowly adding some liquidity. So this is eHex and TRSI. And so it's just an experiment. So the OG hexagons might, they might be pissed off at me because I'm I'm creating a liquidity pool with my hex, but I'm just experimenting. I've I've got a lot of hex. I just want to experiment with just a tiny little amount. So if you're interested in adding to this liquidity pool, please do. Um, yeah, the pair is you'll be able to see it. So just put TRSI hex, and it ends in one one zero B. So you can have a look at it there. So this is my little liquidity pool. This is my foray into creating a liquidity pool because. That's what is developing the Atropa ecosystem, which is consequently going to develop the Pulse Chain ecosystem. Remember, that is the main objective. So thank you very much, everybody. Hope that was valuable. The next episode, I'm going to start to do more of a deep dive into the liquidity pools, and I'm going to start to analyze what it's doing and try to start to work it out, because I think this is going to be a really important skill to have moving forward. So once again, thank you very much, everybody. Have a great day. Have a great weekend.